Hey everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face. Really glad you're here. Continuation of our holiday releases. Um, we have uh, It's a Wonderful Shave that we're going to be using today. And uh, as you know, this has a lot of uh, incredible scents to it. Uh, Bolson fur, it's got uh, the florals of uh, the holiday. Just a, it's really one of my holiday favorites. Really nice, I love it. And uh, we're gonna pair that with um, the same aftershave as well. So uh, let's get to it. We're gonna be using uh, the Occam's razor for the shave. And as the brush, I'm gonna be using my G4 right here. This is the uh, Wet the Face G4, which uh, Frank Shave has uh, supplied us with. We are getting uh, a whole bunch of them in. So they should be here, you know, sometime in December maybe, or maybe even next year. I told them no, no rush, you know, I just love to have my own uh, brush. Uh, and I think also Alfred, uh, is he's the creator of the, uh, the shaving bowl and uh, the, the coffee mug. He's making a, um, a, a handled uh, brush as well. So we'll see what he comes up with. We have... A couple of choices going into 2020 so that would be nice so uh, let's get on with the shave and don't go away okay so here's the bowl it's empty as you can see and here is the soap in question our uh, it's a wonderful shave and uh, you know I never miss watching this I always I watch it every year even though I've seen it maybe a hundred or so times but um, it's just great this is a great story so I'm going to open this up, take a look at the soap. I could push it with my finger. We're going to use this um, cos um, cosmetic spoon. We're going to take some up like this, place it right in the bowl. So let's uh, let's do that now. Okay, uh, as you can see, the bowl has the soap in it. And uh, this is the razor we're going to be using, the Occam's razor. And for the brush, here is the G4. Let's put a little warm water on it. And let's empty the contents of that right in the bowl. And, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> still have a little cold, but uh, let's, uh, let's do the uh, lathering, okay? Here we go. Yeah, as soon as the brush touches it, it'll, it starts to lather right away. That aroma, oh. I'll be using this quite often, this one. And as you can see, a little water is all you really need to start this off. Just keep going. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> look at, just look at that. Have you ever? <laughs> okay. Whoa. That is awesome. So let's take this to the face and do the shave. Okay, so uh, we're back. I have about uh, six to seven days growth. So uh, let me wet the face. All right. And uh, for those who are interested in pomades, I am using today Dove Men and Care. That's the one I'm using today. Um, it seems to be working fine. I ran out of the other one. Needed something that uh, I had no idea if it was going to do any good, but uh, it seems to be working. 
Uh, oh, I tried this one. Let me take it out of the garbage. <clears throat> I tried this one. Spiffy Pomade by uh, Old Spice. And as you can tell, listen now, it's in the garbage because it dries out your hair. Dries it out completely. I actually had to buy Brill Cream, put it in my hair for a couple of days so it would get back to a little bit of normalcy. Yeah, you, you live and learn, you know. Not everything is great. <laughs> so, uh, here you go. Look at that. <laughs> that is the lather from that bowl. Can you imagine? Here we go. And, uh, nice black shirt today. Uh, it should really show up well. <laughs> so, uh, let's apply the lather. Uh, I should have let it fall up there. It's all going all over. Such a nice holiday shave here. So, wow, there, it just keeps falling off. <clears throat> I'll tell you, this, this is something. So uh, I had a, I had someone ask about Christmas time, which was my first offering for the holiday ever, and I think it's been a very long time since it came back, and it's going to come back next year. Maybe with a revised label. I don't know. So here we are, its coverage is really good, it's going on well, the scent is just insane. Here we go, good for a couple more passes, no problem. And just a little on the shirt, I'm surprising myself. Here is the, uh, let me wash it off a little bit, here is the razor. And uh, let's do the shave. Here we go. Mm, very nice. Love this scent. I know I've said it a lot, but I really do like it. So, here in New York, we had a couple of days ago, we had uh, a storm, and they called it. A bomb cyclone, I think they called it. And boy, did that, that's the sound of that. Oh, I don't wish anyone can go through that. It was horrible. I, I really thought the house was gonna come right out of the ground, but uh, what happened was one of my trees came right out of the ground. And, uh, crashed onto a fence, subsequently ruining uh, three sections of the fence. And uh, it, it fell into the neighbor's yard. And wasn't a good day when I woke up, that's for sure. The tree also took out everyone's, um, everyone's power. It went right through all the lines. It's a big ass tree. <clears throat> Pulled the cables right out of the, right out of the, uh, the pole. So according to the tree guy, he says, you don't, it's not your responsibility if a tree falls into your neighbor's yard. Well, my neighbor happens to be a store. 
Now, I live in a wooded area, but the neighbor to the right of me is where they have this a couple of uh, stores. It's wooded area, and then it's the stores. It's like a little, a little, a little shopping area, and that's where the tree fell. But the owner doesn't want to do anything, so I was under the impression that I, you know, I had to do something. And I would if he wasn't being such a, you know, douchebag. Not, you know, I tried to call them, they don't return my calls. I tried to call some of the stores that are there and they say, well, you know, we call them, but he's not returning it. He's not returning their calls either. So it just seems like uh, he's ignoring the fact that he has a responsibility. So uh, the tree guy told me that, uh, like I said, I'm not responsible for anything, but um, half of the tree is on my side and the other half is on his side. Most of the tree is on his side. So the, the tree guy said, just cut the part that's on your side and then haul it away, rebuild the fence and let him deal with whatever is left. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do, I don't know. But I don't wanna be a douchebag either, but that's what he's becoming. So, you know, we have to fight it out, I guess. But uh, let me uh, wash my face here. Okay, hmm, I can still feel the slickness, the slickness of that soap on. And what a great shave. Yeah, not a nick or cut. So nice. All right, so here's the aftershave. Let me open it up and put some on my hands, rub it in, oh yeah, mmm, that's nice, very good, <clears throat> wow, <laughs> that was awesome, well, there you have it, I had a wonderful shave, and I hope you have a wonderful shave, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.